Hey, my name is Seg Gacy. Welcome to my YouTube channel and job, career, calling. Three options and I didn't even know I had the opportunity to get the third one. So I grew up high school. I've had counselors always tell me that you want to find a career and not a job because a career is something that you will love and do for the rest of your life. And a job is something that is miserable and that stinks and you don't want to be stuck in the dead end job. Well, times have changed, right? Yeah. And what I've learned is that even careers can also be dead end careers. So with jobs, they're temporary. Everyone kind of knows this. Like you get into a job at McDonald's, you know you're not going to stay there forever. You know that. And that there are some skills that you can pick up from working at a fast food restaurant or any part-time place. There are skills that you can pick up. You just need to be privy to what those skills are going to be. And how are you going to use those skills for yourself? You can quit a job any time. You might not be able to because you have family to support or bills to pay. We all have bills. But the truth of the matter is that yes, you can quit your job and you can find another one because there are other jobs that utilize the same skills, uh, the same talents. You can take those and put those in any other situation. Careers are different. You can get out of a dead end job. You can't get out of a dead end career. People who go to jobs, they just invest for that job and they understand that it's low risk low reward, but you can deal with that. But it, with a career, it's a high risk and either mediocre or high reward. Some people never really get to see the high rewards. You got these people who went to college more than likely, or they studied extensively in a trade. The problem with careers is that they're most often too specialized. Employers want someone who can fit into that role and that's it and you're amazing, and it requires a large amount of intelligence and whatnot, and skills that you've learned and acquired. It requires all that, but that's all they need. So that's all they look for. So you're placed in a highly specific situation, and you might not be able to get out. We can all say that there's a great thing with careers, right? You're practicing your skills, and you might really even like the skills that you've practiced. This is where the confusion comes in, because you can love the skills that you've practiced, but the bigger issue is that you're practicing your skills and someone else or some other entity is getting the benefit for what you are doing. Of course, you're gonna make better money. Ideally, at a career, uh, compared to a job, in a career, you're gonna make more. What hurt me the most was when I realized that my passion and my skills with the career path that I was trying to undergo was being used as a carrot that I had to chase down. Why? So that my employer would benefit from my labor. And that's the major thing, because with the job, you know that there is no carrot. <laughs> you can go into a job expecting to just want to leave. Because they, they know that too. <laughs> but there is an understanding when it comes to a job that there is no murkiness like there is with a career where those who are in the offices, they have private conversations that you're not included in. With a job, they'll just tell you straight out. At least you know where you stand with the job. There is a third option that many teachers, counselors, parents... Um, yeah, guidance counselors, college counselors, they never told you about because they didn't know. And it's a calling. Now, with a calling, it's different. With a calling, you can understand that you may not get paid that well. So in that way, it's kind of similar to a job. However, you are accepting to that, that you are not getting paid as much as someone who is doing something that they're, makes them miserable in a career, makes them miserable, but they're getting compensated for it. But how much is that compensation worth the misery? In a calling, you are enjoying what you want to do. 
and you can enjoy it not for just a short time. You can actually see yourself in a calling situation doing something for the rest of your life. And that is something that even in a career, you can feel constricted by. And well, for a job, that's a nightmare. <laughs> but it's that idea, that liberation that gives you a better sense for your health and your well-being. Like in the, in the jobs that I've had, yeah, I felt miserable. I felt miserable working at Ross. I felt miserable working at Wendy's. And I was like, I got to get out of here. But I knew that that was par for the course. With the career path that I've tried to get into, it was suddenly sprung on me. And I'm like, are you guys adults? Are you even having these conversations like this? I can't be. This was a surprise amount of toxicity I didn't know existed. What I ended up learning was that just because you are placed in a career position doesn't mean that they will promote you where you want to go. So I believe that pursuing your calling rather than looking for a job and rather than looking for a career is what will actually bring you happiness. In between a calling, a career, and a job, all three actually have their pros and cons. And guess what? They are actually necessary for the various stages of development that you go through in life. There are skills that you can implement. Whether they are restricted or not, that's besides the point. Finding out what your calling is, is what will actually make sense of all the struggles that you've had in life, all the inward yearnings that you've had, trying to figure out what you want to do, why other people are doing successful in one way, why others are being successful in another. What about you? So if you're in a job right now that you just can't stand or are trying to figure out why you had certain jobs in the past, if you have a present career right now and you've been tricked into it, being told that it was life was going to be one way but it actually ended up being something else, or if you've reconciled yourself to figure out what is this innate burning in my heart that, that I want to do despite what the circumstances are around me. Whatever situation you find yourself in life, you will be doing your future self a great service if you are able to shut everything off and go with a pencil and a paper and start writing down what you want, why do you want it, how long would it take for you to get it, what if you actually wanted to start a clothing brand? And I am not talking about going to your local Walmart and grabbing white t-shirts and gluing something on it and saying that's your brand. No. What if you actually wanted to make a shirt? What if you actually wanted to cook just one thing that you, just soup, you just want to make soup? What if you just want to be a gardener? All of these things are worth sitting down and trying to uncover the mysteries that you've had in your job in your career, and for your calling. My name's Gazy, and I'm in it too. I'm with you. So take care. God bless. Please like and subscribe, and let's create a dialogue. Bye.